Hello everyone, my name is Tumit Kumar and welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, we have already learned how to create data frame with the different, different method and we already learned about what is series. So in this video, I will show you how you can get data from the data frame using row and column. So let's, let, let, let me start. First of all, I will just delete this one and I will create one data frame. So I have this data frame where I am keeping data as name as Amit Sumit Mang Arunima and Chotu. So this is the age of this and the age of the people and where they staying. So Amit is staying in New York, Sumit London, Mang, Paris and Arunima Tokyo and Chotu is staying in Baka. So this is the data frame. Let's, let me just create one data frame here. This got created. Let, let's suppose that this is the requirement to get the name of all the people. So how you will do? So you can just type here column name and you can get name of all the people. Okay. Now, now you want name along with the age. So what you will do? You have to pass here age also. But this time you have to pass the age of age in the in the list format. If you if you write like this, it won't work. Okay. So you have to pass this in list format. So list here. You have to pass double quote. Okay. Okay, so H A is capital. Okay, so you can see this. Let let me just show you without list. Okay, then you are getting the key error. So if you are passing only one column, so you have to pass. You don't have to put two uh, bracket, two square bracket. But if you are passing more than one column name, then you have to keep those column name inside list. This is one list. You can prepare the list. And you can just pass it so easiest way to do that is let's suppose that you are having multiple column like 2000 columns there in, in the 2000 column you have to just take 10 column so you you can prepare all the column list so you can just prepare column call or final column you can just write here final call and what you want i want only name and age so name and each. So if you write like this, that will be in the beginning you will feel confused. So that's what I am saying. I'm saying you to use this is the simple method. So you can just whatever the column you want to select it, you can put it into one list, and then this list you can pass it here. Okay. Then you don't have to worry about this angular bracket on. on you will not confuse. Okay. This is the very in the in the project or in my uh, work I am doing the same things. So I am preparing all the column, all the list that as a final column and then passing it into my data frame. I am getting the result. So this is the one way to get all the column. Okay. Now the question is, this is the way to select the column. So how we will select the row. Let's suppose that there is 0, 1, 2, 3. I want 0 row means first row and second row. Okay. Then to do this, there is one function called loc and iloc. Loc is mainly difference between loc and iloc is loc will be fetch the row based on the label i will tell what is the label is and iloc is simply fetch the data of the row based on integer integer means i means integer so i'm just writing here loc and iloc okay i just didn't run it, run it you don't have to run it so iloc so this is for label so i will tell what is the label is and this is for i for integer okay i for integer hope you understand so let me let me show you the example so i will first i will go with the label so what is the label is label is nothing but this is the label of row so what is the what label of row is nothing but this index 0 1 2 3 4 by default this is the index and we call it label for row so if you say this is the row, so what is label for this row? Zero. And label for column is nothing but name and age. So column name is nothing but label for column and uh, index is nothing but label for row. Hope you understand what the label is. So now I want to get data from just zero and one. So you can just pass here df dot loc and in this one zero first location. First location we pass zero just. So this is one. So you got it. What is that uh, the first location? Zero, the beginning, it will start with the beginning, uh, it will start with the zero. 
so amit and age is 25 and is staying in new york city so why it is giving because i have not saved data from anywhere so the df is still containing if you just uh, create one let me create uh, just let me run df and okay this is and now i want first one so now along with first i want two i want uh, two row so zero and one so you can pass here zero and one again you have to pass it into list same method if you are one one column here for one column we have to pass simply one you don't need a list but if more than one you have passed it as a list okay this is the way to get based on the row so look and i look simply fetch the data from data frame based on the row okay but you can say like this is this is row first part and after that if you pass here it will give you column as well now requirement is i i want to get two rows first row and second row what are the name column with the name column only so you can pass here you can pass here name column is in which index means name this is label so label you can what is the label for column first name so you can just type here name okay so along with row if you want to get column you can pass the column name here okay so if you want name as only so this is giving only name now if you want name and age both then you can pass in list name and age in caps okay and you have to pass it this into list so name and age so so with this you can understand what is the look look we have to pass the label so basically if you say if you i will i will show you so if you see there is index and we are treating index as a label but in my next video i will show you how you can put the index as a label means you can put this is this this is as instead of 0 1 2 3 4 you can keep some in string there okay so based on the string string is just label based on string then that time you have to you do you don't have to use i look you have to use look only okay so first of all just first let me tell you what and all function how to uh, use look and i will show you how to what is i look and then i will collect both and i will tell you what is difference okay so just concentrate on understanding what is look so hope you are understanding here so this is to get column now uh, this is the column and this is to get this is to get uh, row and this is to get column now let's suppose i want to use instead of 0 and 1 in the list you can use slice operator as well here and here also you can use slice operator as well so slicing means let me just show you if i want data from 1 to 4 first row to first column means this is second row okay second row means from 1 to 4 i'm just saying okay you just understand like which row is i'm just putting i'm i will say 1 and 4 so i just want from 1 to 4 so this is what to do here you can put 1 colon 4 okay see simple and if i want along with that want column as well from name to city so you can put here name colon city okay that's all it is giving so whenever you are using list list of column particularly if you want to select i want one i want two i want three then you can you put all those value inside your list and get it but if you want slicing if you want to use slice operator like colon in the python normal python syntax so you can use this 1 to 4 which is giving all the one you have to keep in mind that 4 is inclusive here okay so hope you have understanding what is look now i will show you what is i look so let me put df here now df and uh, i want i want to use i look okay in the i look also if i want location this is because here i look and look both will be 
not make make much differences because label is as same as this integer numbering okay but you understand like how i am getting this so i want first so give this one i want along with that i want first row first row and what is the name so you can put here name is in which position zero position so you put zero so you can get one means sumit and zero means name zero means this one zero means name so this is row this is column that is different whenever i have used look we have to put there label okay see we are passing the label label is column name but here in the i look i have to give the integer location so integer location of name is nothing but zero if you try to give here name it is giving value error okay so when that's that is the difference you have to pass here pass here in teacher position and in your look you have to pass the label so that is hope you are understanding fully so we have to use here observe that that, that everything is same one more difference is there i will show you now let's suppose i want to use i want to select 0 1 2 and 3 okay so what you will do i want to use i can use 0 i can use 1 2 and 3 and here i want name and age so name is at zero position and age is at one position okay so this is the data frame we are getting now instead of doing this i want to use slice operator instead of this so if you want to use slice operator so you can i want from here to where 0 to 3 so you have to put here 0 to 4 because see 0 to 4 why because 4 is exclusive here this is the one more difference between i look and look in i look 4 is exclusive just like the python list and but if you see here look 4 is inclusive here if you are putting here 4 it is giving the fourth position as well data fourth uh, row data as well in fifth row okay but here if you are putting fourth fourth you are not getting here okay yeah. this is simple slicing operator if you if you want to get from zero so this this is if you are you have to put it simply blank okay so if you are you are understanding what is the difference between loc and alloc so now i will just summarize all the things all the differences between iloc and loc so iloc means you have to put here integer value integer position for the row and for the column okay but in loc you have to put to give the local to give the you here you have to give label have to label, label name of the label like 0 1 2 3 4 here the label and in the name and in the column label is name and age but in in uh, iloc you have to put the integer position only in the second difference is in the slicing operator whenever you are using slice then in i loc 4 is exclusive for is exclusive that means in the index last last index whatever you are passing in the last this is exclusive but in loc this is inclusive this this is the second difference okay and uh, and there is one more difference is let's suppose that some index is not available uh, i'll i'll put 5 here okay sub so index means this is not available so you will get index error and and in i look if some label is not available then you will get key error so that is mainly three differences i can say if you get to know more differences please write down in the comment okay hope you have understand what is different between i look and look very clearly and if you have any doubt please contact me please write the comment and i will surely reply that and even i am very easy to reach to you guys you can just whatsapp me or you can call me as well and you can connect with me linkedin so thank you very much thank thank you for watching this hope you are understanding this pandasrish thank you very much